I am Khan. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay, so I am Khan. Uh, you can start with your readability check. Just keep your pen and paper handy. Start writing while speaking. Okay, follow that rule. Mumbai Control Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike Mumbai Control Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Hotel Echo Mike, on one nine three decimal two eight five. How do you read? Say again. I say again. <laughs> Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Hotel Eco Mike, on one nine three decimal two eight five. How do you read? Radio five control. Picture Tango Hotel Echo Mike Mumbai Control. Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike, Mumbai Control. How do you read? Mumbai Control, Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike, Radio Five. Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike. Mumbai control. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Correction. Four, three, two, one, five. Visibility. Two, zero, zero. Temperature four five degree Celsius. How do you read? Mumbai control Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike on one, two, three, four, five. Four three two one five visibility two zero zero temperature four five degree Celsius radio five very good
okay good one so in this call you have noticed here what is it what do you like to describe if you found this is written somewhere what does it really mean what is the use of correction here Four three two one five. Four three two one five is a corrected version, and correction used here. Okay, so in this format only, you can see how to use the correction. If you say correction, then whatever the information you are writing that time, that will be cancelled, and the immediate message that you will say just after correction that will come into notice. Okay. Very good. Very good. Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Mumbai Tower Mumbai Tower Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Mumbai Tower Primary One Two Three Four Five Secondary Five Four Three Two One How do you read? Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Bravo Bravo, on one nine of five decimal two three, primary one two three four five, secondary five four three two one, radio five. Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Mumbai Tower Monitor Mumbai Control on one two nine decimal six five. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo, monitoring Mumbai control on one two nine decimal six five. Say again. Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo, monitoring Mumbai control on one two nine decimal six five. Very 
Roger. Here in this color shape, you can say. I think, sir, uh, monitoring should not be here. I think monitor will be here, sir. No, no. Monitoring is good. Monitoring is good. Because here I am giving you an instruction that monitor. And if you are continuing change over to, then that can be used. Monitoring is also a good one. But I will give you some better answer of this. Here, if the call is in continuous, then you can skip this. No need of this every time. Okay. I'll give you the correct call of answer. In the continuous call, you can skip W1 and W2 every time. Just write your message and you can use W3 instead. Sorry, uh, W2 instead at last. Like you can say, you can say, this is not right by the way, but you can say, uh, monitoring one to nine decimal six five whatever it is also in Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo. See when I ask you say again you can just give the answer call and you can skip to say W1 and W2. No need of that because earlier many times you had said the same right yes sir so the correct version of this call will be when I ask you to monitor then you can say monitoring. That's a good one. Then you'll find one more thing. You'll find one more thing. And that is, if I ask you to contact Mumbai control on 129.65, then you need to say changing over to Changing over to Mumbai control on one two nine decimal six five. That's it. Okay. Monitoring was good there because you can say you can say as an answer. He okay. I am monitoring. Okay. So you can change over there. But if I ask you to say, if I ask you to contact Mumbai control. Then you need to say changing over to Mumbai control. Monitoring was good there. Okay, is that clear? Because yes, if, I, if I ask you to contact, then you will change the current frequency to something else. Then only you can able to contact, right? So if I ask you contact, then you can say changing over to. Otherwise, in the case of monitoring, that was good. Okay, you will not find a monitor monitoring call every time you'll get simple contact one so i think uh, you had that thought key we need to say changing over to right okay so by the time i think every phrases has been cleared till now anyone have any doubt in the radio phrase any doubt in any phrases anyone no, sir. Oh, good. Very good to know that uh, everyone is clear with the radio phrases. <clears throat> Victor Tango, Kivik, Foxtrot, Echo. Mumbai Tower. Would you like to take a call with the type of Kiwet Foxtrot Echo? Yes. Okay. Victor Tango Kiwet Foxtrot Echo. Mumbai Tower. How do you read? Mumbai Tower Vector Tango, Quebec Foxtrot Echo, read you five.
Mutual Tango, Quebec, Fox Trot Depot, Mumbai Tower, Confirm your registration number, Quebec, Fox Trot Echo. Mumbai Tower, Vector Tango, Cubic, Foxtrot, Eco. Okay, good one. Here you can here you can say instead of that, you can say a firm. Vector Tango, Cubic, Foxtrot, Echo. I asked you to confirm and I had given a hint also that your call sign is Cubic, Foxtrot, Echo. So here you can simply say a firm. Yes, the use of yes. Okay. Sir, uh, can we also yeah. say confirm? Only confirm. No, 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 no. If you will say confirm, again, uh, while teaching that phrases, I told you, if you say confirm, it means this is a question. You are asking. No, sir, if we say confirmed, ED. Confirmed. Confirmed. No, yes, no. sir. That is, that is not a correct phraseology. You can say, you can say because this is a simple English word. But that is not a correct phraseology. Okay. You can say confirmed, that is a correct English word, but no need to say that here because that they, uh, they may confuse with confirm, like I I I had right now. Okay. So use okay, so affirm. Use of affirm is there only. You will not see the use of affirm every time, everywhere. This is the chance where you can see the use of affirm. That's why I had given this call. In the call, you are not going to see the use of a firm many times. You'll, you'll see Roger, you will see negative, but a firm you won't get every time. So this was the reason I had given this call. It confirmed your call sign. Instead of that, I could ask anything. See, I already knew the call sign of Quebec Fox Trot Echo. Still, I had given that confirm your registration of Quebec Foxtrot Echo so that he can say affirm. Okay. Now, let's give uh, one more call. Victor Tango Quebec Foxtrot Echo Mumbai Tower Contact Mumbai control on one, two, three decimal five. Changing over Mumbai control on one, two, three decimal five vector tango QVEC Fox shirt eco. Very good. The exact that I want to receive, he said his message directly and he last with his call sign. Okay, good one. Changing over to you can use with an instead. Instead of changing over, you can say changing over to Mumbai control on 123 decimal 5. Okay, is that clear, everyone? So, uh, we had seen the use of multiple radio phrases here. Now, I'd uh, like to show one more thing to you because you won't see more of the time. Victor Tango Hotel Echo Mic. Hemkant, uh, I'll request you to nominate a frequency to you. What you like to nominate to you? Nominate any radio frequency to you. Okay, sir. Just not uh, say me, say to me what it would be. VHF frequency. Like uh, I had nominated one, two, three decimal five. Similarly, you can nominate any frequency to you. What it could be if you want to. One one two decimal nine or okay. 
So note that one one two decimal nine. Everyone pay attention here. Mumbai control. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Station calling Mumbai control on one one two decimal nine R request your registration. Reply, Himkan, can you reply from your side? You can say, yeah, 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 your mic is on. Say anything. Say again. Station calling. Mumbai control on one one two decimal niner request your registration. Mumbai control Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mike. Very good. Very good, perfect. Because here I had requested your registration and what you had replied is good one. You had simply raised your station and now I need to say in reply, Roger. When you raise your station, this consists your registration marks, okay? So whenever anyone is asking your registration, the best way to reply, just raise your station so that he can understand what is your registration marks here. Here I had emphasized on the use of request. Okay. Done. Very good. See, I had not said anything how you are going to reply the request and such calls. Your assumptions make you smarter. Okay, the thought process of yours makes you smarter. Like we ran the date in the very first call. Everyone did very good in this call. Whenever you stuck to any situation, you don't know the answer. You are free to assume anything. What can be suitable for you? Understood? You are free to take any action which prevent you from any kind of disaster or damage. Anything you can assume from your side. It means you need to be aware. Your awareness your common sense, your understanding makes you smarter. We can practice 100 of calls, more than 200 of calls. We can assume many of the situations, but this is not a guarantee that in the examination you are, you are going to receive out of these 100 and 200 only or you are going to answer the situations that you read in the class. The question may come out of syllabus, right? So what makes you smarter there, what makes you to answer that call is you only, your thought process. So in the RT situation, 
if you don't know exact answer if you don't know exact answer don't limit yourself without answering try from your side anything you can say you have all the four w's to you okay you had a hint that you can use any english word like abhishek told now sir can you can we use confirmed yes we can if you did not find any suitable phrases for you use whatever you think okay that can be any english word which is so simple to understand and that can be easily transferable to atc so that atc can make sense okay what is the rt it just need to make sense with the transmission and receiver if you are transmitting anything then receiver could make a sense with your words so that he can understand either your status either your situation anything and if you are receiving anything from any atc you can also make a sense so that you can process your clearance your further flight or you can process any result from this call okay what is it all about that your call should make sense you can understand the situation you can understand the status and you can process it to a result that's it okay you can use any kind of english any word but that should be simple so that atc can also understand right is there any problem any doubt not so good all the students are smarter than me right <laughs> very good see the examination is nothing but to check your sincerity everything is in your book everything is in your lecture how sincere you are and how comfortable you are in examination that going you to take to the result comfortable you should be very comfortable while giving the exam otherwise you will become nervous aur nervous hone ke baad to jo aapko aa raha hota hai wo bhi aap bhul jaoge okay so okay now we are going to talk about flight rules that is uh, two flight rules according to visibility any guesses any answer from your side according to visibility this is b bravo according to visibility what are the flight rules for ifr and vfr good good one very good those are ifr and vfr what is vfr can you can you say full form of it visual flight rules and ifr is instrument flight rule very good those rules are ifr and vfr these two rules vfr can be represented as v vector ifr can be represented as i so in a flight plan if you see i 
you should understand your aircraft is flying IFR. And if you see V, you should understand your aircraft is flying VFR. There is some more thing that you can have a flight which are initially flying with IFR condition and while landing it may goes to VFR condition or initially it uh, took off with VFR while landing it goes with IFR. So these two conditions represented as this one as Yankee, this one as Zulu. Okay. So in your question, you may see four flight rules. I, V, Yankee and Zulu. Okay. You can make a note. I means IFR. Victor, V means VFR flight. If you are having Yankee as a flight rule, it means your aircraft is from IFR to VFR. Initially, it may fly up to certain distance with IFR flight rule and after some distance, it may change over to VFR. Okay. Similarly, for the Zulu, initially it may fly with VFR after some distance, it may change over to IFR. Is that okay? Any doubt? Have you noted it down, all four flight rules? Okay. Yes, sir. There is one more thing. If you wish to fly in VFR, maximum altitude you can fly up to 15,000 feet. That is flight level 150. Okay. Above flight level 150, your aircraft should have IFR. Okay. Shall I need to elaborate this IFR and VFR also, or you have understood? Everyone knows. Any doubt, Hemkan? Is that clear to you? What is IFR and VFR? I need not to explain yes, it, right? Instrument flight rules and visual flight rules. Yeah, good one. That is it. This uh, meaning is somehow important for avionics one, and uh, it will also be important for mechanical. If you know, it will be better. Okay, so IFR and VFR, you may often see in your flight rules. Other than this, you can see Yankee and Zulu also. Okay, there is a trick also. You will get to know in uh, further classes. If your aircraft is in flying is in VFR condition, then instrument readings shall be called as per original parameters. Original parameters. How it looks like? Like if you are flying in IFR, you are 70 nautical mile away from any station. You can say DME 70. But same thing in VFR, you need to say distance 70 nautical miles. What is the exact parameter? Nautical miles. You can use your instrument reading. This is DME. This is instrument reading. You can use this in IFR only. And in VFR condition, you need to say your distance is 70 nautical miles. You cannot use instrument reading in the VFR call. Okay, we'll get to know in further classes. Okay, so we'll take a break of five minutes and
we'll read about many more things after the break okay we are going to take some example of calls okay so you can have some water we'll meet after 5 minutes okay okay everyone is there any doubt in flight rules ifr vfr yankee zulu any doubt there yes no maybe anyone no sir thank you see Right. So, write your uh, one question to you all. That question is: In the very first question, you may get. Otherwise, also, if your question is such that request. for startup or request for ground run or simply you can say engine run up on idle power So suppose these three are the questions. Okay. Anyone like to make a call, Abhishek? Would you like to make a call? You can use any hypothetical data as suitable to you. Okay, anyway, sir. Yeah, please, please do. if you know something uh, basic of the communication you should always take a chance to give it so that you could understand your preparedness okay okay, okay sir i'll try hmm. mumbai ground vikta tango alpha bravo bravo on be free request engine start up very good very good good one you can use this data to you at least you had mentioned where this one is good this is the very good one and your position you had mentioned good one nice job okay i'd like to add some more into it anyhow for now you should understand the structure of your call and try to memorize it try to note it down as it is once we study the flight plan you will get to know why is so abhi jo bhi bolunga na usko patiently sunna we'll explain everything to you theek hai and koshish karna usko 
एज फार एज पॉसिबल समझने की ठीक है फॉर दिस कॉल ओनली लाइक एल रिक्वेस्ट स्टार्टअप ठीक है I'll explain each and every term why this has been used, why that has been used. Okay. The call can go like this. Mumbai ground. Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo on one one eight decimal five on. Stand three, apron two. Information, Bravo. Airbus three two zero. Wake, medium. Request startup. Okay. Else, you can add one more thing here. Ready for. Departure request startup. Now I'll explain each and every term to you why that is important. Okay, see in this call, why you made a call to ground. Any, any any doubt why you had made a call to ground? Anyone have any doubt why this call has been made to ground only? Why isn't with tower and control? No doubt. Okay. So this has this call has been made to ground. Why? Because apron. Comes under the authority of ground control, surface movement control, right? Now, ground control Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo, your call sign, and on which frequency you are making a call to ground that is also important. Okay, like we say. Said bay number three. This is also a good one. And more specifically, what you can use stand or apron number. Why? Because your aircraft is parked somewhere in a stand in a apron. So instead of bay, better to use a stand and apron. Okay. Till always to use the word stand while uh, showing the data of airport. I told you now the more popular terminology is stand. So use the word stand. You are somewhere on a stand. You can left out to say apron if you say stand, or you can left out to say stand if you said apron. So any of these two can be used. Now, what is this information Bravo? This information Bravo is nothing but approval of your flight plan. This information Bravo is approval of flight plan. Okay, FIC number. What is FIC? Flight information surface. 
no no not circular this is flight information clear and still i'll show you and there is adc जब आप कोई फ्लाइट प्लान करते हो मीन्स आप एक एयरपोर्ट से दूसरे एयरपोर्ट तक का डेस्टिनेशन फिल करते हो तो उसका अप्रूवल दो टर्म में आता है वन इज एफ आई सी एंड सेकेंड वन इज ए डी सी एयर डिफेंस क्लियरेंस दिस वन इज फ्लाइट इंफॉर्मेशन क्लियरेंस मीन्स आपने जो भी फ्लाइट प्लान में इंफॉर्मेशन फिल किया उसका क्लियरेंस आ गया आपको वट डज क्लियर रियली मीन्स यू आर ऑथराइज टू प्रोसीड बट सर्टेन कंडीशन विल बी इम्पोज ओवर यू ओके सो द एडीसी एंड एफ आई सी विल कम टू यू इट मीन्स यू आर ऑन एन अप्रूव फ्लाइट ठीक है आप आगे का प्रोसेस कर सकते हो then i had used everyone understood why this is information bravo jo fic approve ho ke aata hai na to wo jis kisi bhi number se approve ho ke aayega us number ko bolna hota hai fic number so and so but you are using hypothetical data apne man se kuch bhi data yahan use kar rahe ho to understand the call that's why we had used information bravo means whatever the approval of fic number i had said it as a information bravo and that is acceptable you need not to tell fic number in every call okay you can say information bravo theek okay? hai then i made a request to a startup theek okay? hai i need to consider always whether my engine startup whether power on of engine of my aircraft is going to disturb some other aircraft or what if my aircraft is this much bigger okay and if i found any smaller aircraft behind me then the power of engine the exhaust the weight or you can say turbulence air turbulence created by my aircraft is going to disturb this aircraft suppose if any helicopter is parked here this will be disturbed with the turbulence created by my aircraft the exhaust of the engine okay so we need to consider the wake turbulence created by my aircraft before asking of engine startup or ground run and you can say the aircraft type of your aircraft so that this wake turbulence can be verified by atc whether this wake is really under standable with your aircraft or no theek hai to isko aapko bolna padta hai your aircraft type your wake turbulence then you can say ready for departure means ab aap move kar sakte ho that's why you had asked for a startup okay is there any doubt in call structure so this information uh, is uh, uh, related to the wind speed and all that information as no, well no 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 that constant uh, not not really wind speed and but, all uh, that is and is different mm, yes 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 see uh, while teaching at is i told you na we need not to repeat or acknowledge the at is information we need not to repeat ठीक है एडिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू दैट टर्मिनल ओनली वी कैन नॉट गिव एक्नोलॉजमेंट एनीवेयर दिस इंफॉर्मेशन बड़ा वो इज द अप्रूवल रेफरेंस ऑफ योर फ्लाइट प्लान 
by which approval reference your flight plan has been approved so that airport controller can understand okay you have a flight after some times and you can start your engine you need to go further okay is that clear so this information so this, bravo mm -hmm. this information from whom we will get this information bravo you will get information from airport management services from atc only where you will submit your flight plan either from sky vector this is a website to submit the flight plan before understood flight management no not flight management uh, it should be airport management services airport management services or aerodrome operator theek hai wahan pe aap apna ek flight plan submit karoge we'll catch this topic later also wahan pe aapko ek flight plan submit karna hota hai ki sir we have a flight time of departure is on 10 o'clock i am going from your station bangalore to bhopal passenger will be 3 we can fly up to flight level 36000 whatever it is we are going to choose vfr we are not going to choose any special operations such details you need to submit before your flight to airport controller that you have a flight theek hai uska jo approval aayega na usko आप लोग एज ए कॉमन इंफॉर्मेशन इंफॉर्मेशन ब्रावो कंसीडर करते हो ब्रावो ओके ओके सर ठीक है सो देर आर मेनी वेबसाइट एयरपोर्ट कैन डिसाइड बाय देम सेल्फ इन व्हाट मैनर दे आर गोइंग टू रिसीव द फ्लाइट प्लान यू कैन यू कैन फिल योर हार्ड कॉपी एंड सबमिट टू द एयरपोर्ट कंट्रोलर डायरेक्टली आल्सो एल्स यू कैन अप्लाई विद थ्रू स्काई वेक्टर you can check out there if you are a sorry sorry theek okay. hai so if you are a airport uh, not airport aircraft operator so you can apply for flight plan and that information in what mode with fic and adc fic flight information clearance whatever the information you have given to flight controller that will be cleared with a number that can be anything they are going to issue a squawk a squawk will be four digit transponder codes that will be activated for this flight and adc will comes to you air data clearance that in your route whomsoever you are choosing there is no any defense notum issued you will get this thing later ki wahan pe aapke defense services ko koi problem nahi hai nor they are flying any training flight there nor they are practicing any combat in this route in this airfield so you have a clarity with air defense understood everyone any yes prob sir. any problem with uh, wake category everyone has clear about this wake turbulence term i am i'm going to elaborate it more regarding the wake turbulence only so that you can understand it in a better way there are three categories of wake wake turbulence you had understand the meaning of wake turbulence right the impact of air the turbulence created by your aircraft is wake turbulence right so what does it really mean wake turbulence can be of three categories high medium low this high yield called a uh, high is called as heavy wake turbulence heavy okay and 
देन देर इज अडियम एंड लो ठीक है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एयरक्राफ्ट दैट यू आर फ्लाइंग इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द एयरक्राफ्ट यू आर फ्लाइंग जनरली इफ एयरक्राफ्ट इज हेवी if aircraft has more maximum take off weight it is going to create more turbulence theek hai why because if your aircraft has more maximum take off weight your aircraft required more powerful engine right so they are going to generate heavy turbulence and if your aircraft is of low take off weight maximum take off weight is low then it required less powerful engine obviously obviously so if your aircraft is of less than 7000 kg it is going to generate low turbulence if your aircraft is in between 7000 to 1 lakh 36000 kg sorry uh, i think my pen has discharged if your aircraft is somewhere in between 7000 kg to 1 lakh 36000 kg you can note this data this can be asked in part 2 why not then it is going to generate medium turbulence and if your aircraft is of greater than 1 lakh 36000 it is going to generate heavy turbulence okay so this is it you need to consider always whether the turbulence created by your aircraft is going to disturb any other aircraft or not then only you can start your engine on the apron and airport management services are also aware of this they are using it to allot parking bay for different sub categories of aircraft on a different place they are not going to place a bigger aircraft in front of any smaller on the apron because they know the starting of his engine may disturb this aircraft okay so the management services are also knowing this and they allotted bay in such a manner okay so for any kind of startup call engine run you should consider your wake turbulence theek okay? hai so airbus 320 is of somehow in between 1 lakh to 1 lakh 36000 kg in between them and that's why the turbulence created through airbus 320 is medium is there any doubt no sir we say can you uh, make a fresh call by using all those data that i had shown now we like to make any fresh call with engine startup by using more hypothetical yes. data whatever you can use that will uh, be beneficial to you to do practice okay yes used thank you mumbai brown ekta mm -hmm. tango alpha bravo bravo mumbai brown correction say again one Sorry, sir. Say again. Say again. Say again. All. Mumbai ground. Victor Tango. Alpha Bravo. Bravo. 
on one, two, three, decimal five. On stand six, apron one. Information Charlie A three two zero. Wake medium ready for departure. Request engine startup. Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Startup Approved Mumbai Roger Mumbai Ground. Yes, you can you can say Roger, but Yesterday, no, after after Roger, uh, no need to repeat your call sign. Okay, but instead of Roger, what else you can use? You can use startup approved. You should give your readback of every clearance, right? Like yes, readback up to you uh, after every clearance, every kind of approval. Every kind of root, do we parameters up to use only now? Uska readback mandatorily then I then. Okay. Yes, sir. Well done. Well done. Well done, Abishi. So uh one more thing I noticed here in this call. You had said A320. Okay, for Airbus 320. You can uh you can say complete Airbus 320. So that aircraft type will be clear for you. If you say A320 now, you, you are going to say in next classes, in the further classes of us only, that Alpha 320, Alpha 745, such numbers are for routes. So if you say A320, that's already wrong, first thing. Next, if you are going to say alpha 320, that is also maybe confused with the routes, you can use your complete aircraft type. No problem there. You can write A320, but you can say Airbus 320 or you can say Airbus 320. No problem there. While taking the call sign of your call of your aircraft, aircraft type, you can say 320. No problem there. Okay. Okay, sir. Well done. Very good. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm requesting you only give a call with some more data, like one hypothetical question for you that is a little typical, not typical, easy only, but uh, will be different for you that uh, you should not use to with this call sign and all. Your call sign will be Victor Tango Alpha November Kilo. Your aircraft is Boeing 737. That is also of medium turbulence. You are going to ask for engine run up. That is of duration not this question in your book everyone you can also note down and you can try to find the answer of it so that while seeing the answer you can have little understanding of it duration of engine runner is one zero minutes see i have not said 10 minutes what is it one zero minutes because every two and three digit words and numbers you need to say it separately. Duration is one zero minutes. 
you should ask for engine run up rest of the thing you can use hypothetically as per your understanding no problem okay okay sir Shall I say, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Mumbai Brown Victor Tango Alpha November Kilo on one two three decimal five on stand. Four in front of anger one yes go ahead going seven three seven wake medium request engine run up duration 10 minutes very good very good vishik now uh, tell me some more thing that why you had used this apron uh, sorry apron was right why you had used this apron of hangar 1 sir because there are uh, many hangars no so hangar 1 hangar 2 hangar 3 so in front of that also stand numbers are there mm -hmm. because i have seen sir in uh, hyd airport uh, when uh, b200 round and we used to do they used to give uh, this instructions we used to give uh, in front of in front of hangar this where okay okay so uh, you said in front of hangar right had i had i uh, had i write it wrong either you have said in front of it or you had said apron of hangar one no no sir in front of hangar one okay okay so uh, there was the case of uh, begum pet airport right no problem yes yes and at sc1 okay and uh, you had used this on on two times right on 1 2 3 4 5 5 on stand 4 you can skip see the beauty of call is in your hand you can skip saying repetitive things on on two times you can say on 1 2 3 decimal 5 and you can skip to say this repetitive on you can simply say stand 4 they'll understand that you are on stand 4 okay so the beauty of call is in your hand always and in front of hangar one yeah uh, you have seen some, uh, some situation that's why you had given a call no problem after a good one so you can skip to say in front of hangar one in front of so so and so because in the real airport airport apron you will have separately somewhere in the air field there may be a case that in front of hangar there was some area so that aircraft can make ground i think that was especially for nrsc nrsc aircraft that isro one right there was yes, some, yes. there was there was some privacy for that uh, that's why they were uh, using that but generally you won't see any aircraft is making ground run on in front of apron or any uh, vacant places always they use apron so simply you need to go with 
apron you can say apron or if you are saying stand also then you can skip to say this apron you can simply say stand two stand three any of these okay what is the more important thing this stand this is the more important thing to note it down and this is the more important thing to come into attention that on which stand you are going to perform your engine runner you had catch the right thing the duration of your engine uh, run up see so whenever you are seeing any hypothetical data in your call try to give call based on all such things okay just don't limit yourself with the answers and with the practice that you have in your class don't limit yourself whatever the things you have seen in your question or you are receiving in your question try to put all these things okay try to put all these things like i will say found that i had given duration here and he mentioned duration after the in the last section of the call very good we say whatever the data you are receiving in the question try to use all those data because the question designer has set that call so that he can receive those information from you he intended to receive those information from you always okay very good abc good one so uh, i don't find uh, you have any doubt while uh, giving the calls of ground and all is there any doubt i think you are uh, much convergent with the calls related to the ground well then we'll put some tricky situations also not now in the later classes because the perfect should be more perfect okay because kai bar uncertain situations aa jate hain unconditional questions aa jate hain so though you are perfect you need to practice also you need to be in practice always so that you can't be confused any kind of situation okay so uh, other than that ground run things you have learned today two more things your wake turbulence and information bravo i think uh, you had already knew this but the use of it in your call is essential okay hemkant is there any doubt in the call structure till now have you understood no doubt sir have you understood yes, all those things right okay very good very good okay uh, we'll take a break of 5 minutes after 5 minutes of break we are going to introduce some more condition on the ground only okay we are going to put some question which does not require any kind of flat plan any kind of aeronautical charts to you and once we learn the formatting of call then we can go ahead with the situations in the call okay so after break be ready be ready hemkant we are going to interrogate you is that okay for you you can give transmission and all now you have a sufficient place to answer these things right yes sir i try it sir so no no you should try you better try when because sometimes uh, some students uh, some students are traveling and at that time if instructor ask to give a call that will not be feasible for them that's why i had asked first okay after break we'll meet again and we'll have some more interactive situations well done okay well done abhishek very good take a break everyone we'll meet on 21 i uh, will meet on 22 hours 22 hundred hours sorry
very much joined. I think we do tend to give it folks to people. I had to end with this uh, option of Microsoft Teams also, but the recording of lecture is difficult there. That's why I'm choosing this Zoom only. And here is also one, one limitation with us that uh, we need to stop our session in 40 minutes. That is somehow beneficial to us. Only. Because taking a break of after half an hour is essential for any class. Otherwise, things will go above your head. Okay. Hemkant, are you ready? Yes, sir. Very good. Achha, is that uh, recording things comes in your uh, computer also? When I start recording, is it comes like you? Recording is started? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Every time, do remember that the recording must be on so that you can have any revision on YouTube. Right? Very good. So, the question for you, Hemkant, is your aircraft registration is Victor Triangle Alpha Foxtrot Mike. This is a Foxtrot. You can write your question in your notebook. So that you can have better understability. You are going to call BIDP, Victor India, Delta Papa, Delhi, Delhi Control on 1905. Okay. And your question is same engine run up duration one five minutes aircraft Boeing seven three seven for you. This information I am writing here, right? I'm going to show you these all are from uh, these all are extracted from flight plans only. Once you get the flight plan information, you will come to know why these data are essential. Okay. Mkan, have you noted down the question? Yes, sir. Okay. I start after I start after my clearance. Wait for the clearance. Stand by. Go ahead. You can turn over the little mic. Delhi Control, Victor Tango, Alpha Foxtrot Mike. Achha, achha, achha. Wait, wait, wait. Have you noted uh, the answer? Means pehle answer likh liya hai kya? Okay, no, no problem. अभी क्या करना है ना हमेशा हमेशा आपको जैसा आप लिख रहे हो वैसा आपको साथ साथ ही बोलना है always try this mode on okay can you can you do this now is it possible yes sir okay, please do. try to uh, speak while you are you writing yeah go ahead okay you know what Delhi Control Victor Tango Alpha Foxtrot Mike on one nine or five decimal three eight stand four apron one 
information b bravo correction bravo boeing 737 weight medium request engine run up duration 15 minutes Victor Tango and for Fox Road Mike, Delhi Control Engine Run Up Approved Report After Completion. Roser. What else you can say other than Roger? Abhishek, would you like to continue this call? Other than Roger? Engine run up. Engine run up approved will go. Very good. See the use of will go here. You have received the approval. what you need to give as a read back of your approval always whenever you receive any approval any clearance give read back always and one more thing requested to you that report after completion so here you got a chance to use sorry sorry everyone so here you got a chance to use this phrase will go what it really mean will comply what it is said requested to you report after completion and you need to comply with this this is the condition see uh, with the definition of clearance you know na the definition of uh, definition of clearance is to proceed to proceed under the conditions specified so this is the condition that he has given you approval if you are going to report after completion understand he told you okay do in general up but report after completion now you need to comply with this clearance okay you need to comply with this clearance first you need to give read back of this as a engine run up approved what he said engine run up approved okay then then he asked you report after completion in the reply you can say will go or you can say will report after completion this is the simple english grammar for you that will report after completion sorry will report after completion but there is a standard phrase that you can use as a will go okay is that clear you everyone is that clear yes sir very good ankan well done so there is a use of will go see uh, how those phrases is Hello. being you yes 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 sir uh, i want doubt mm -hmm. here sir ankan used information bravo but uh, is it required to use because it is only engine run up there should not be any flight plan uh, for it very good observation very good observation even i missed to uh, look at the so yeah no need uh, of use information bravo here because that question is already specified that uh, you are doing engine run up only engine run up only 
this can be used without any flight plan but if he is using any hypothetical data then there is no negative marking of that uske use karne ki zarurat nahi hai but if you are using something additional uska negative marking nahi hai you can make your call beautiful by using any hypothetical data okay like no need to say no need to say apron after this stand also okay if you say stand that is clear that you are standing on somewhere in apron only so that can be used uh, that can be skipped uh, that one information bravo okay that can be skipped no need to use that but always not a point that if you are using something additional then there is no negative marking of that also wo aapko kabhi bhi negative marking nahi karega kyun hai extra bola okay there can be a condition that he has a approval of flight plan in state he is requesting engine run up only after engine run up they may go to the rest of the flight okay okay sir very good very good observation by the way see this much attention you need to pay in your rt class and in your rt exam also then only you can perform then only you can perform more than the required passing mark okay so this much attention you need to pay with your call you can learn anything from anyone else call anyone others call also because everything is radio telephony okay good one both of you guys very good now so i put one more thing here Okay, I think uh, ground call is enough for today. We can learn some more thing, like some of the definitions, because we need to cover both part one and part two in every class, so that we can go gradually. Okay, I will say. I think this much call is enough for today, because yes, because you need to. you need to learn this format and in the next class also you need to follow this format only we'll check the next class whether you are following the format of this call that you have learned today in the next class or not we need to check in every class because if you forget to learn the format of call then that may be a mistake for you okay we'll check this thing these are the very simple things even something is in your mind you can skip to say those things you might find ki are ye to bahut choti cheez hai isko bolne ki zarurat nahi hai but that small things also makes a big change okay very good well done student you all are attentive and you all are taking this class very sincerely very good now i am writing uh, one thing in front of the screen we need to learn two definitions two and three definitions this is essential for every class we need to take those things on a regular basis what is this maneuvering area maneuvering area any guesses what it could be
like a defined area in the aerodrome where uh, vehicles or aircraft is moving or any place mm. where uh, aircraft can move or vehicles are moving right and when else can i uh, hear something from else also Correction in spelling of this maneuvering. Everyone, please correct it. It should be maneuvering area. What does it, uh, maneuvering really mean? It means that where aircraft can maneuver, where aircraft can maneuver. Right, and what does actually aircraft maneuvering means? Aircraft maneuvering means that the change in path that aircraft can make by the use of its flight controls. This is the real meaning of maneuvering in case of aircraft. What are the flight controls aircraft have? Any answer? Elderons, elevators, rudders, primary flight controls. Yes, primary flight controls are ailerons, elevators, and rudders. So, by the use of these three, and uh, in flight, uh, they are using secondary flight controls also, right? Spoiler flaps, these things. But aileron, elevator, and rudder. Very good. So, by the use of these three flight, uh, flight controls or by the use of flight controls, whatever the change in path aircraft can make is known as maneuver, right? Is known as maneuver. So maneuver maneuvering area means this is the not exact uh, definition of that, but you can take the definition from here also. The area on an airfield where aircraft moves by the use of its flight controls. I'll tell you. Why is it? Okay. Aircraft apne flight controls ko use karke jis bhi area mein movement karta hai that is maneuvering area for you. Okay. But for the definition purpose of RTR you can write maneuvering area means area for Write this as a definition area for takeoff, landing. You can use LDG dot as a short form of landing. Lima, Delta, Golf dot takeoff area for takeoff, landing, and taxiway. Excluding apron. This is the definition that you need to write in the exam. Area for takeoff, landing, taxiway, excluding apron. Excluding apron is a mandatory thing. You need to mention in the definition of maneuvering area. Have you got it? Now tell me. While taking off, aircraft is on is own power, right? While landing also, aircraft is on his own power. Taxiway also, aircraft moves under his own power. And these three places on the ground, not in the air, only these three places on the ground where aircraft can moves with the help of its aileron, elevator, and rudder. 
Am I wrong? Take off and landing they can use aileron. While moving on the taxiway, they can use elevators, uh, sorry, rudders for left and right. So the definition area on the airfield where aircraft moves by the use of its flight control is also an example of maneuvering area. You are going to write in the examination in the part one. If the question comes, you should say, you should say area for takeoff, landing, taxiway, excluding apron. This will be perfect answer for you guys. But when someone will ask you in part two, you need to elaborate in such a manner that the area on airfield where aircraft can move by the use of its flight control. Any doubt? Any other example you would like to say? Abhishek, is that clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone, is that clear? In the part two, if they ask you in more description, you should say the area on the ground where aircraft moves by the use of it flight control that is maneuvering area but in the part one while writing the definition no need to write such things you can simply say area for takeoff landing and taxiway excluding apron is maneuvering area is that clear everyone has written this everyone has written that one okay Okay. Now you may also ask, sir, apron pe to aircraft apne power se move kar sakta hai. Apron pe aircraft apne power se move karta hai, no doubt. But why the use of tow tractor? What is the use of tow tractor for pushback, for towing? This is for apron only. Ki Apron pe aane ke baad, aircraft ko apna flight controls and power reduce karna hai so that it cannot disturb any other aircraft standing on the aprons. Okay, so it ideal situation hai ki apron pe aircraft ko apne power ka istemal nahi karna hai. Thik hai? That's why you can say the area where aircraft can moves by the use of its flight control can be called as maneuvering area. And what are those area for takeoff and landing? That is runway, taxiway, excluding apron because on apron aircraft shall not supposed to use its power. Okay. Now, the next thing is movement area. Sorry. Scales is much smaller. The next one is movement area. Right? So for the definition of it, you can write Take off, comma, landing area, comma. You can write take off oblique landing area, taxiway, including apron. This is movement area. That's it. For the definition in part one, you can write takeoff and landing area, taxiway, including apron is movement area. Okay? But to elaborate this only in the part two, viva, you can see area where aircraft or any vehicle 
can make movement is movement area okay why this is so because if you see apron on apron aircraft can moves by the help of tow tractor taxiway also aircraft can move if engine fails on taxiway it can be moved by the help of tow tractor or the movement on the ground the movement on the ground with his own power or other than own power everything comes under movement only wo hil raha hai na ab either apne power se hile ya koi usko support karke jaye wo move kar raha hai it means he can do movement maneuvering was different because maneuvering consist movement of its flight control here the aircraft can move with the help of flight control or without the help of flight control with the help of tow tractors it can move without help of flight control that's why the movement area consists apron also okay hello yes yes sir uh, this maneuvering area it is mm -hmm. actually moving by its engine as a how we can say it is flight controls engine is for thrust only if you like to turn left how you are going to move with your engine okay okay then we have to operate the rudder hmm see okay. okay okay you can steer your nose wheel also uh -huh. yes sir you can steer your nose wheel also but for the take off still you need to use your flight controls like your elevators right yes, so okay this thing comes under that only okay okay so uh, that was it any confusion in between movement area and maneuvering area which one will be larger which one have more aspects maneuvering or movement movement area movement area very good movement area have larger aspects than maneuvering area theek okay? hai movement area includes maneuvering area plus apron okay then that's why you will see in later classes the area outside an air fields where it has been a control area control zone which is been monitored by area control center it is being called as tma terminal movement area these areas also comes under movement area movement area has bigger aspects than maneuvering area theek okay. hai मूवमेंट में बहुत सारी चीजें आ जाती है कुछ भी मूव कर रहा है कोई भी चीज मोबाइल है दैट कम्स अंडर मूवमेंट एरिया ओके ओके एवरीवन विल कैच दिस थिंग विल कैच द अदर थिंग्स इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास दैट इज इनफ फॉर टुडे वाइल रैपिंग अप आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क हेम कांत to give some readability uh, sorry not readability i'm going to write something on the screen and you need to read that we will we'll do some practice here practice is essential you can look at your notebook while giving the answer okay have you said this is for you also you can also help something from your side how to read this in altitude 
1,5,000 feet. Uh, who was it? I am able to find. Was it Abhishek or Hemkant? Me, sir. Okay, Abhishek. Very good. Hemkant? Sorry. Yes, sir. How you are going to read this? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Again, I think my name is discharged today. I'm writing it here. Don't worry. How you are going to read this? 8000. And else, what extra provision with you? In altitude. Eight thousand feet. Eight thousand feet. Very good. Well done. We say. What is this? Flight level zero two. Flight level that is two hundred feet. That is. 200 feet. 200 feet. See, this is a wrong terminology. We cannot say flight level below the altitude. Which one? 4,000. 4,000 feet. So, if you found somewhere this, or if you find somewhere this also, instead of flight level, you can simply say level or altitude 200 feet. Okay, you may find somewhere in the uh, examination. So to take a better note, read this directly as a level. Even you will find this as a flight level 0 to, but you said you need to say directly level 200 feet. Okay. Then we'll have what is this? Runway visual range eight hundred. Very good. Altitude four three two. Very good, very good. See, see, we will we have a very beautiful situation here. Whenever you have clash of your calls, you are also trying to say something. You are also trying to say something. Take a gap of five to ten seconds. Again, try to call. Okay, because nobody is going to wait for you in the communication. When you have a class of calls, take a gap of 5 to 10 seconds. If someone is making a call, then wait for that. Otherwise, start with your call. Okay. There was a beautiful situation here. Both have clashed. I did not hear any answer because how I am going to distinguish the clash of calls. So, either of you have say again this thing to me. Okay, very beautiful situation. These are the situations that you can get in the radio telecommunication in the real time. Anyone? What is it? Four three two feet. Very good. Okay. Okay, uh, that's enough for today. While wrapping it up, I'm writing one more thing to you. When it is on this, what is this? Standby. Standby. If it is he ask you to be on a standby, to be on a standby, you need to wait for maximum five to ten seconds. After that, if you had not received any communication from the ATC site, then Again, you need to raise your station. Again, you need to give your call. Is that okay? 
how much you need to wait maximum 5 to 10 second 5 to 10 seconds very good whenever someone asks you to put your standby give a gap of 5 to 10 seconds try again whenever you have clash of calls wait for 5 to 10 seconds give another call again you have class again you can wait for 5 to 10 seconds but if you want to give your call nobody is going to lose the data only you who is going to face the problem okay so try to prioritize your information because prioritize sorry sorry i had written anything wrong here try to prioritize your data always you are on priority <laughs> you are not you are on priority you can give way to some emergency services and medical services but your call is also important so only you can understand your importance okay very good because you will find there is a question that whenever you are trying to make a call with ATC, some aircraft is disturbing you. So you need to say them in an answer. Victor Tango, Kilo Bravo Mike, make sure channel is not engaged before calling. Okay. So this is it. We'll catch this thing later. Let classes. We have sufficient call today. Based on ground. We'll have more practice tomorrow and by this by this space we can achieve whatever we are planning for is that okay today class sir, uh, mm -hmm. yes sir, actually i was having doubt in that pcn and scn how we yes, rank yes, it yes. and how pcn is less than scn okay we'll take we'll take extra session on that because there is a very confusing statement I had uh, read today also on this subject only. There is a confusing statement in the ECAO itself. I am finding the real answer of that. After answering you, I was also searching for that real answer, what it could be. Once I find, I'll let you know. Okay, don't worry about that. Because that was very important topic. By the meaning of it, this is very clear, but there is a confusing statement in the account document also. So we'll catch some uh, someone other day. Okay. Some okay other day. So everyone have a good night today. Well done. Thank you for your time. Good we'll night tomorrow. Good night.